okay. Okay, people, we had a slight itch on the, the last video. <laughs> and I don't know how far, at what point it went out. But, okay, um, that's with not watching ah, what I'm doing. Okay, right. Hopefully, this will keep on working now because it's charging the battery up as well from the power pack so hopefully everything should be okay so apologize for the last one but there you go right so yes where was it yes um i know there's a lot of people have got air nailers i have as well um but As I've said before, I tend to find knocking in a nail quite therapeutic. So, and I only put in that's one there. Turn it over. Right now, as I was saying, with using band clamps rather than the main clamp, especially for me, it makes life easier while I'm moving it around on the bench. Um, especially with something like this, because they're on the little items. Uh, so, we put one in each. corner so to speak now the other thing that I don't worry about is if one of them pierces through again it's only workshop furniture so it doesn't make any difference but some of you all disagree with that I've no doubt and they'll say well whether it's for workshop furniture or not it needs to be right. Okay, I'll agree with that. Yeah, it should be. But all I'm saying is it's no great. It's no great detriment. Um, and I know it's, uh, I do tend to beat myself up for it sometimes. So. So we just put a couple more in here. And now we can take the bank clamp off. They say it makes it so much easier with the bank clamp than, uh, ah, come on. Under the main clamp. Um, because you can get round it better, obviously. Okay, so. You've got four canals in there. That one's a bad one. So I'm holding it all in place. So all we need to do now is just back off this. Now, take it off. find somewhere to put it and then just finish off and nail it together. And there you have it, people. Uh, one. Now, this the only 
they're only cheapies, but they tend to lead just that little bit on sometimes. And there you have the load a little bit on. So I always keep a pair of these on there just in case. And there you go. One box ready to have a slider on and it's bottom on and just a simple box nothing really quashed about it or anything but when it's when it's all when they're all completed just say I've got some more to do here's what I did earlier <laughs> as you can see nice slidey and with the in this one I have got two compartments um, the the longer ones I have got some longer ones I'm going to put three in but these have got two in and all it these then is just a label going on the front which I haven't done so to buy something like that I'll cost you I don't know but for me because I got the wood left over from um, another job it's just been made out of scraps and uh, what better to do with your scraps than to actually do that so with that we'll pick this up a little bit are we going to pick it up <coughs> ah switch it on and it might work the wrong way there we go there we go that's it you've got a better, better look at the old moss so I apologize for the first video that's going to come up I was so engrossed in what I was doing I didn't realize that the actual battery had gone flat my fault because I should have plugged it into the power pack and I didn't um, what I do with with the GoPros is the GoPros are, are what they call I go batteryless, and what they have the GoPros, they have a piece that sits where the battery is, and it actually goes straight onto a power source, and all the gubbins is in there. Um, with the SJ Camp, they do do it, so um, I'm just playing with things at the moment to make sure I can get me an idea and then as I say all being well I'm, I'm in the process of saving up for um, uh, a mini works saw the 800 watt XL um, because I don't want a big circular saw but one of them many ones for what I do It'll do, it'll work for me. So as I can cut stuff down and then, then use it on the um, on the table saw or or on the um, Evolution crosscut saw. Uh, so it, it'll work for me. And then the next thing is then, or I might change my mind. I might say no and get myself another SJ cam. And with the Legend 6, which is the one that I'm, I'm looking at, um, you can put an external mic on it. Unfortunately, with this one, you can't put an external mic on. And with about three of the others, I think the SJ7, the SJ8, and the SJ10 will take external mics. For me, the SJ... Six legends will work perfectly. It's because with the uh, I'm going away from them because the GoPro only does ten minutes and that's it. And it, it's it's a pain. It's a nuisance. 
okay the GoPro is a nice one um, but I can't get it to do more than 10 minutes before I have to shut it down restart it and do another one um, because it, it's caught me out of time with it but hopefully now with this one now uh, on the second video I've gone over the 10 minute mark so I'm hoping that this becomes one because I haven't got the necessary uh, wherewithal and what have you. My laptop is that outdated, it's unbelievable. Uh, and I've only got the iPad. Um, and I haven't had a look to see if I can get something whereby I can jo join up the series of videos. I shall have travel with one of these days, see if there is an app for it. Um, but I, I, haven't got, I haven't got a decent laptop in order to do it with, so uh, at my age, <laughs> you will want one. It, it's debatable um, whether or not I really want one for my channel or not, or just go ahead the way I am. But, anyway, there you have it, folks. Um, I think this is probably the first one I've actually done where it showed you what it is that I'm doing, even though it did. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he did pack it part way through, and I don't know how far until I check on the videos. But if you do watch them, thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. Um, I do enjoy your comments, although I I, I have had a troll making a comment, um, and of course he caught me on a bad day because of how things were with Sue. So. Um, I didn't appreciate um, what he said, uh, but anyway, I've, I've obliterated, obliterated his comments. Most of the people that are on the channel, when I said something about it, turned around and said, "Don't worry about it," and I'm not. I'm not worried about it. It's just the fact that I was on a little bit of an off day, um, and there, there it goes. And to Grumpy's Workshop, Dave. Hello, mate. Um, I'm going to say thank you to you because those text messages that we did or emails um, that we did we're like kindred spirits because I uh, I feel for you mate same way as you do for me um, you've already lost your wife and uh, you've got a bigger by gun mate they, they've got a bigger journey on them what to than what I've got on. Um, I've only got myself to worry about. Um, but you've got your kids and whatnot to to worry about. And I admire you. My hat comes off to you, and my heart goes out to you, sir. Um, you are a genuine gentleman, amongst quite a few others on here. Um, Grandpa's workshop was uh, was. <laughs> If there was ever a character, he is one. Then he's another gentleman that, that's that's in the States. Pole Barn. Um, the, the Pole Barn Productions. Pole as in P-O-L-H, I think it is. Uh, again, a great character watch. He does turn him, but uh, he's, he's got that sort of attitude in life, which is something similar to myself, and just keep on going. But anyway, look. If you've got to the end of this, that's enough waffling. Thank you. Have a fantastic weekend. This will go up shortly. It might go up after the weekend. I don't know yet. But enjoy yourself. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.